Hi, my name is Henny Geldner and today I'm going to show you guys ICBM working with views. Well, why? Um, well, we are all individuals and we do not all have the same way of looking at things. So with this in mind, ICBM allows you as a supervisor to be more creative with your views. You can set up any views you want to do. Um, so without any further ado, I'm going to show you guys in Business Manager how this is done. Okay, so as you can see, yeah, we are in Business Manager, and um, I'm going to just, um, first of all, let's show you guys how to add a new view. Well, you can go into View here on your Getting Started page, that will allow you to do that, or you can go up to New and View, same thing, okay, so you click on New View here, I'm going to get the new view information that I can add my views with. If I click on view here, I'm going to get the same thing. So it doesn't matter which one you use. Um, all right. So then, of course, yeah, I can. We're not talking about certain views. I'm just going to show you guys by clicking on on a view. This will then add that view. Of course, you're going to have to go through um, setting up the view. And once it's set up, you you have your view up here. I'm just going to add um, one more in here so I can show you guys a few things. Uh, let's just use agent overview and I'm going to choose a work group and I'm going to say everybody in this work group should be there. Next uh, and add a few details to it and say finish. Okay. It's not about what we're looking at, it's still talking about the views itself. So now I've got two views up here. Let's say this one, I want to name it um, the name of the agent I'm looking at. So what do I do now? I can double click on this environment, oh, sorry, right click on here and rename it. And then it gives me this little re rename view. Now I notice it's great, I, I have to click on this, use a custom title for this and click on it. And then I'll be able to actually change the name of the um, view up here. So I can call it Beth Palmer. Okay, and click on OK. And now this is called Beth Palmer. So that's easy to rename. You can rename any view in Business Manager. Um, I can also do stuff like this. I can say I wanna. I don't like the way it is set up like this. Each one next to each other. I wanna uh, move them around. So I can click on this, hold my mouse, drag this out, and as soon as I drag this out, it's gonna ask me where do you wanna put it. Do you wanna put it there? You wanna put it there? You wanna put it over here? And if I let go, it's going to put this view where I left. Let the mouse go. I can do this on any view um, within Business Manager. Of course, I can click on this and bring it back to where, where it was, by up here, and now it's back in the view I wanted to. So we call this rearranging views. Okay. Um, I can also physically remove a view from here. So the easy to remove a view, I, cl I right click on it, and it says close view. Of course, um, just one thing, once I've closed a view, all of the detail that I've put within that view is going to be gone as well. So of course, I, if I re-add the view, I will have to reset up all the information I had in that view um, previously. So if I close the view, um, it's gone. And again, if I want to add, re-add it back, yeah, if I go in here, view again, and I go to agent um, detail view again, of course, I have to reset this up, so I have to go through all that that whole process I just went through, and um, of course, then get back to what I wanted to see. So that's really just very simple by adding a new view, or re renaming a new view, rearranging the view by dragging them out, and removing a, a view from a business manager. Um, well, that is uh, it how you do this, guys, in Business Manager. So um, stick around for some more information, and I'll see you on the next Just-in-Time video. Bye-bye.